feel like this is a little lopsided. I don't know if that fixed it. Okay, hi. Today I'm going to show you my full makeup routine. I am constantly switching how I do my makeup, so I'm sure in like two weeks this will change. But for now, this is everything I use on my face pretty much every day. Oh, I need a mirror. I don't have a little mirror though. I only have this one on my door. I wonder if I can take that off. I'm just gonna bring this over here. Oh, I can't really see right here. I wish you guys could see how I'm doing this. Okay, the mirror's all set up, so I'm gonna start getting ready on my makeup. Start, get started on my makeup. This makeup bag, I get so many questions about. I got it on Amazon. I have it in my storefront. It's under makeup which I guess is a little confusing, but it's the best makeup and travel bag ever. It holds so much stuff in it. Like whenever I travel, I put all of my skincare stuff in here with all of my makeup and it always fits. It's like the most convenient bag and it's also super cute. And I think it's like $14. Anyways, whenever I'm editing these videos, I realize that I talk. I realize that I talk super fast. Like I need to slow down what I'm saying, but my brain just moves so fast. I just cancel down. First, I'm starting with this Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal in the shade Medium Glow. It says 903. I don't know if that's the shade or anything. Honestly, I don't know anything about makeup, but I just put a little bit of this everywhere. I feel like this just makes you really glowy and it also makes you tan. I used to use the Junk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops and then I ran out and I just haven't gotten more, but I actually really like using this. I also self-tanned my face last night, so my face is not naturally this tan. I tried to film a little morning in my life video today, but my camera died like five times, so I just gave up on it, so maybe another day. Okay, that's all rubbed in. And then I used this Elf Halo Glow, <coughs> Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade two, fair slash light. Is more, and I just put this kind of everywhere. I love doing my makeup. Oh, that was a lot on my nose. I feel like I usually don't use this much. I just got a lot. So first I rub it out with this brush, rub it out. And then after I use a beauty blender and make sure it's all blended in. What time is it? Oh, there's six minutes until my last YouTube video goes live. I'm excited. Also, I get nervous every time I post a video. Which is funny because I post like 10 videos a day on TikTok. I never get nervous, but YouTube is just scary because it's new. I'm just using my beauty blender to make sure it's all blended in. Also, I miss this spot with my self tan. And somehow I miss this spot every time I self tan my face. Okay, she's blended. Next, I use this little concealer. It's Tarte Ultra Creamy Oh Shape Tape in the shade 29N Light Medium. This thing is so tiny and it was like $15 at Ulta. I put it underneath my eyes and then wherever I have zits, which is everywhere. Neighbors are walking by and just see me in my room. Hey. Now that this is literally everywhere on my face, I just start blending it in. A lot of my girlfriends are gone on LDS missions right now. So whenever someone from our high school gets engaged, I have to text them and tell them, <laughs> which has been a lot already. And we only graduated last year. No hate though, cause I want to get married young too. Okay, I'll blend it in. Then next I use this Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Does this have a shade? I don't know. All the letters that were on it are gone. And then this brush is, I think an elf brush. Yep. And I just put this everywhere. Just so I'm tan. <laughs> this spot I missed. Now that I'm way darker than I was before, or I guess more orange, I'm gonna do blush. I switch up the blushes I use all the time, but today I'm using this Milani Baked Powder Blush in the shade 01 Dolce Pink. And this brush I'm pretty sure I got at Ulta. I think the brand is Eco Tools. I also like the Rare Beauty blush a lot, but sometimes if I put like a powder bronzer on before it, it gets kind of weird because it's liquid. I just put it high up on my cheekbones and then I use what's left over on the brush to do my nose. Next we have highlighter. I've had this highlighter for probably five years. I stole it from my older sister in like eighth grade, I think. And it still has so much left. Like this thing will last you, will last you forever. And it's just wet and wild highlighting powder. I just use my finger for this. I put it right on the tip of my nose and like on the like base of my nose. I don't know what this is called. And then on the inside of my eyes, inner corner, not inside, where my blush is. This thing literally will last you forever. I think it's like $4. Okay, now we have setting spray. This is almost completely all out. 
but it's e.l.f. Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. I'm just gonna spray this on my whole face. It always makes me sneeze, but I'm gonna try and hold it in. Ah, <coughs> oh, I don't know why it always makes me sneeze. And next for my eyebrows, I use this Anastasia, Anastasia, I don't know how to say that, um, Brow Freeze. And then this is from there too. There's a dupe for this, it's the e.l.f. Brow or brow gel or something and I feel like they pretty much work the exact same. I got this as a present. I brushed them like backwards to get all the gel in there and then I brushed them up. And I have a lot of eyebrow hair. I have thick eyebrows. I don't color in my eyebrows at all because they naturally dark and I also dye them. And then there's the difference before, before and after. Do this side. Okay, and then every time I do this, I also have all these little baby hairs up here that I hate. So I take a little bit of this and I slick them down just right in the front. And then they like lay flat. Now I'm almost done. Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and I just learned a new way to curl them. Also, I got this on Amazon, but it did take forever to get here. But you hold the eyelash curler upside down and you curl all the way down the lash. So your eyelash sticks out like it is stick straight. Then you curl it up. So then it goes straight up. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if it makes the biggest difference, but I just like doing it because it's fun. My eyelashes are super long, but they're not super dark. So when they're not curled or have mascara on them, you can't tell how long they are. This eyelash is done. Look at the difference between my two eyelashes right now. It's insane. I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other one. I just know I'm making the dumbest faces doing this. It's perfectly straight. Now I curl them up. Okay, both my eyelashes are done. They look so much better curled. I always curl my eyelashes now. I feel like I kind of messed up my eyebrows. I'm just gonna fix that. Now we have mascara. I've used the same mascara ever since I started wearing mascara in like seventh grade and I've tried a few other ones and none of them are ever as good as this mascara. It's the best mascara ever. <laughs> I've had mine for a while so the label is off but it's Maybelline Lash Sensational and don't get the waterproof kind because if you get the waterproof kind, it will not come off your eyes. I think I just get it in the darkest shade they have it in but it is literally the best mascara. It doesn't flake or come off at all throughout the day. And when you get your eyelashes wet, it just comes off in tubes. Like you can just pull it off like this. I usually go back and forth between eyes and do a few coats. But here's just one coat on my eye. They seriously turn out amazing every time. Oh, I wonder if my other YouTube video is up yet. Holy, it's 2.07. I've been doing my makeup for so long. I'm gonna put that on my story. What should I make the cover picture? I can't listen to myself because it cringes me. Also, I always like my own videos. <laughs> Oh shit. I don't have the cover picture for it because I made it on my computer so I don't have it saved on my phone. So that's just gonna have to be good. Okay, let's finish this mascara. One eyelash completely done versus not done. Now I need to do the other side. Mascara takes me so long. I swear this takes me like 10 minutes. Yeah, my mascara is all done now and I always end up getting it on my eyelids and like underneath my eyes. I have this little travel Q-tip. I just get it wet with my mouth and then clean up all the spots. And then the very last step is lips. I've been using this lip gloss from Estate Cosmetics. It's in the shade Drip. And I put it on like 10 times a day because I love the color so much. It also smells like cake butter. Okay, here's my makeup all done. Literally all the products I use are drugstore products. You can get all of them at like any store, but I also have all of them linked in my Amazon storefront under makeup. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>